Welcome to the chaos of getting ready to go away for the entire winter while also trying to still make progress on the interior of the yurt. Okay, so what is all this stuff doing in the kitchen? What's the plan now, Charles? So since we've already listed this trailer, we've, we're starting to get hits on people wanting to buy it and it's still full of our stuff so we need to get it unloaded and have it ready to sell so I'm switching gears to get the trailer unloaded today oh my goodness it seemed like this day would never come <laughs> we're really gonna do this good riddance We have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this cargo trailer. As you may remember, it had problems last winter under heavy snow and ice, but it also saved us from having to rent a moving truck and it's served as our storage unit for 18 months. Well, it only took a couple of hours to empty everything from the trailer, but it turns out that was the easy part. I just don't know how we have so much stuff, but this is the area that Charles had cleared to lay the tile floor, which now has a bunch of stuff on it that needs to be moved before he can tile. Our neighbor Graham is coming to help with the last few heavy items, and then this will be ready to go. Let's go take a peek at something Charles did off camera in preparation for us to leave the solar system alone over the winter. These batteries need to be above 14 degrees Fahrenheit. It doesn't get below that very often in the winter, but we won't be here to stick a space heater in the shed. So they are now insulated with foam board insulation and there will be a shop light to keep them warm. That's a shop light. <laughs> That's the thermostat. It's got a little temperature probe that goes down and it's hanging right down here. And it will go on below what temperature? It comes on at 25 degrees and goes back off when it reaches 32. I'm not using anything that makes light. It's a heater element, 100 watt heater element that you use for lizards in a terrarium. Good morning. It is past the middle of October now. There are some freezes coming up in the long range forecast. So we are trying to wrap up our to-do list and get on the road. If you see something missing in the picture behind me, we sold the cargo trailer and it is gone. We are super excited to be rid of it. It was taking up a lot of valuable real estate that will eventually become a woodshed. And when that happens, this pile of firewood will be a lot more pleasing to the eye. But for now, Charles is back at work on the tile. He's cutting and laying out the tile from the utility closet outward into the bedroom and beyond. He's made 
quite a dent in the stack of tiles on the pallet over here. I'm feeling like this is taking forever. But I should have hopefully everything cut down to this row. The tile can be mocked up and cut on colder days, but laying and grouting it have to wait on the weather since both the mortar and the grout have to cure above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Camera, what you told me the other day about this spot. It's like playing Twister. I'm trying to get around all this stuff. Don't mind our indoor bottle of propane right there. That's only temporary. We've been using it for the instant water heater on cloudy days when we don't have enough solar power to heat the water in the other tank. Are you looking for my attention? Almost didn't need a ladder. Taking this gutter apart so the snow doesn't come and hit this and bend it. So our imminent departure is starting to feel real now. We'll be refilling the RV freshwater tank one more time, and then we'll drain this IBC tote before we leave. One more thing to get checked off the list while the mortar was drying is the building of insulated lids to put on top of the cistern covers. Pandora, what are you doing? <laughs>